Uploading your game on web browser platforms is the most efficient way to reach players. My games have reached millions of players by working with these platforms. So let's find out how you can build and distribute your games on the web. Now to make a game, you should work with a game engine. If you are already familiar with a game engine, good. Just make sure that it can export a web version of the game. But if you are beginning game development, my suggestion would be to choose a web-friendly game engine like Play Canvas or Cocos. There are plenty of tutorials and resources available online to learn these tools. I use Unity as I have been making games for 5 plus years now, but Unity is not the best choice for web games. However, with some hacks, you can make the Unity web builds optimized and playable on all devices. You can also use ChatGPT or Claude to help you with coding and writing complex systems, algorithms, custom tools, or level editors. I use them with my every project and save hours in development time. But without a deep expertise in game programming, it can be difficult to talk in technical terms to the LLM. Next, to build a game, you need an idea or a concept. What is the game about? How does the player control the character? How does the player win or lose? These questions have to be answered before you start making a game. They are the key factors that make a game interesting. You can research more about game design on YouTube and read some books. There are many ways to approach this and generate good ideas, but I like scouting the web game platforms for hot or trending games and taking inspiration from them. Just go to a platform like Crazy Games or Pokey and check out the games that have a higher number of ratings. Play a handful of such games. Break down and analyze the mechanics, gameplay, theme, player experience, and flow. Understand deeply why these games work and perform well. Use these factors for reference and come up with your game idea. Remember, don't just copy but add or remove something and mix it up so the new game looks different than the original while maintaining the fun aspects of it. You can also target a genre like puzzle or shooter based on your preference and research games around it. It is best to design an idea that can be playable on mobile and desktop as it allows a wider audience that play your game. Remember, the focus should be to keep the players engaged in your game for as long as possible and to design gameplay that also supports the rewarded ad system. The longer the player plays a game, the more ads are displayed on the web page around the game screens, which means more revenue is generated. The player watches an ad in exchange for getting a reward such as a boost, power-up, coins, or extra life. Rewarded ads are non-intrusive ads and provide a great player experience and in return generate good revenue for you. Idle games implement this system very well. To boost player progression, they allow an ad to be watched in exchange for getting extra currency. Now, if your game has high engagement and players play your game for long, the platform where you upload the game will promote and boost your game for more visibility. So once your game's prototype is ready, you need to approach the web platforms with a playable version of the game. It is best to upload the game on a web server and share the link. But where can you upload your games? Well, I have come across a few of them. Here they are. You can take a screenshot and save it for later. Every platform has a different set of players, but some genres or game styles work well across all platforms. Most of the game platforms have a contact option on their website for developers to submit their games, but sometimes they can take a long while to respond. In such a case, try submitting the game again. An alternative approach is to reach out to them on LinkedIn or Twitter. Search for their platform name and drop them a message with your game's link. Oh, please join my Discord where 100s of other game devs are discussing web games, making games with AI and everything else. Once your submitted game is reviewed, you'll receive feedback on various aspects. The reviewers will let you know if the gameplay is engaging and suitable for their audience. They'll also assess whether it offers something fresh and fun, or if it resembles existing games, and also suggest how and where to show the ads in the game. Suggestions for improvement will be provided to help enhance your game. You'll need to iterate until all requirements are met. Afterward, QA will run checks to identify bugs and make sure the game follows some basic standard guidelines that the platform prefers.
This process may be repeated several times to ensure everything is ready for launch. The publisher will also give you access to a dashboard. Here, you can upload your games, submit for QA checks, track the status, and see how many players played the game. The dashboard help automate a lot of the processes. Before launching the game, make sure you have integrated a data analytics tool, such as Game Analytics, to track the player's behavior. For example, to check how many levels players are playing before dropping off and to track other events. Once the game is live, you should track and analyze the performance using these tools. Most of the platforms provide a dashboard to check player count and revenue for the game. You can always work on the game to add more content and fix current issues. Players love playing games that are updated over time. New content can be related to themes or upcoming events. Halloween Christmas. Once your game is live for a while, understand what is going right and wrong and use the learnings to your next game. Another key factor is to form close partnerships with these platforms and discuss ideas about your next games, as they have plenty of data and insights on what works best. Keep building and shipping some amazing games. If you have any more questions, please ask in the comments or join my Discord. Thank you for watching. Until next time.